When I at least traditionally think about a royal wedding dress, I think of intricate laces, ornate beading, or tons of fun embellishments and details. And Megan's dress was pretty much the exact opposite. My name is Crystal. I am the creative director for Casablanca Bridal. I'm fashion historian Kimberly Crystal Campbell. My name is Nairi, also known as wedding fashion expert. This is designer dresses deconstructed. Today, we are deconstructing Meghan Markle's wedding dress. My first reaction when I saw Meghan Markle's dress was super sleek and modern. I think that she is the definition of a modern day princess. So my first reaction was, oh my gosh, it's so simple. But then as my eye warmed up to it, I was like, okay, fine. It's simple, chic, minimalist, classic, timeless. To find a royal wedding dress this simple, I think we would have to go back to Princess Margaret, whose dress was very surprising for its simplicity. Princess Margaret was not the queen. The queen's wedding dress was much more elaborate. Meghan Markle's dress is much more simple than Kate's wedding dress. It was just super clean, chic, and this effortless look that really evokes that clean girl aesthetic that I think a lot of brides are going for these days. I was so surprised that it was a more form-fitted dress and not a royal style ball gown or A-line, something with a little bit more presence. Meghan was not marrying the heir to the throne. So the expectations are a bit different when you're marrying an heir to the throne, when you're marrying in Westminster Abbey, a much grander setting. I think this stand was very appropriate for her husband's position in the royal family and for the smaller church that they were married in. From a royal family standpoint, she's all about breaking the rules and breaking tradition. And I think that when it comes to fashion, that it's definitely no exception. An interesting fact about Meghan is that she is actually the first British royal bride to wear a wedding dress from a non-British fashion house. She ended up wearing a $265,000 Givenchy dress, making it a French design, but the designer itself was Claire Watt Keller, who's from the UK. Meghan Markle's Something Borrowed was the Queen Mary diamond bandeau tiara from the Queen's collection. Megan's dress had this open scooped bateau neckline, sort of gracefully framing her exposed shoulders. And also she had these three quarter sleeves that added a really nice regal yet modern elegant touch. I love that she went with a lace veil, adding that element of drama into the mix of things because when you have a dress that's that minimalist style, you have a blank canvas to really make this dramatic veil moment happen. So I'm thrilled that she did that. The homage to the Commonwealth flowers really signaled that she was showing respect for British tradition. Frankly, I would have gone a little bit bigger on her bouquet. I'm not horribly mad at it. I like the minimal look, but I would have done a little bit more drama there. What I thought was so interesting about her dress is how conservative it was in the sense that it doesn't have a plunging neckline in the front or sheer illusion panels, but it still has this risky element to it because you can see her curves, at least more than any other royal wedding dress that I've seen. Her choice can be seen almost as like a backlash to that you know, opulence and grand nature of royalty where it's still traditional, but on her own terms. I think Meghan Markle won a lot of new fans with this wedding and this wedding look. So she showed a lot of respect to the institution she was marrying into and to the setting at Chapel at Windsor Castle. I think this also cemented her role as a fashion icon. I think this will be a, a very much copied and admired dress for years to come. The amount of brides coming in store asking for a clean shape with an off the shoulder, high neckline dress, long sleeve, went through the roof. The year that Megan actually got married back in 2018 is when the demand for these simple, clean, sophisticated wedding dresses absolutely skyrocketed. The hottest trend still to this day is the simple and minimalistic designs. Every bride is queen for a day, so it makes sense that a lot of our wedding traditions have been inspired by royal brides, whether it's the tiara, the train, or the color white with white lace. All of our designers had to figure things out and create inspired dresses by her look, including the crown. So we actually even have a crown that resembles her crown in store at Lavella Bridal because brides even till today 
still ask for it. I think a lot of brides and couples are just af not afraid to let their personality shine with their weddings, whether that is breaking away from tradition or choosing to adapt old traditions, but in their own personal way. Thanks for tuning in to Designer Dresses Deconstructed. We will see you next time.